Roderick from Toy Masters Video Magazine, still here at the Sean Bunn Center. It's an all day event. Well, to a, well, a couple hours. But I'm still here. I'm here for the uh, Crystal from Portal Tamers. This is her company. She has a game coming out. It's an RPG role playing game for you guys who don't know, which everybody should know that by now. She made this game all at home. Crystal, good job. Still, you still got work to do on it though, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, Crystal's here to tell us about her, her game. Portal Tamers, right? Called Portal Tamers? It's, Sorry? it's called Portal Tamers, right? Yes. Okay. She's here to talk about how she made a game, what she did to, to get this out here and everything. Because right now, this is just basically the demo, right? At the show. So, with that, Crystal here to tell us what the game is all about, what's going on in it, what's going to happen in it and more. Crystal. Hello. Um, so Portal Tamers is an adventure RPG. Um, and as mentioned, I did make the game entirely on my own. I started off, I'd say, doing 2D art for a really long time, about 15 years. And then I started to get into computer science and I really wanted to marry the two things that I love and game development was the best option. And I've also always been a lover of Japanese culture, anime, you know, Pokemon was... I loved it as a kid, just like everybody else. Um, and I always wanted, in Pokemon games, to be able to run around in the world with my Pokemon. You know, we got a taste of it in Pokemon Yellow, and I wanted more. And so I decided to make that game, the game that I wanted to play. Um, in the game, you can expect to experience darkness and evil along with the happiness and, and sunshine that, that is the visual aesthetic. Um, and there will be about 40 monsters that you can summon throughout the game and um, six biomes, about 18 different areas, uh, six different boss fights, as well as the final boss, and um, lots of NPCs and a very immersive story. Now the the heroine, the character, what's what's the story about her? So Luna is very naive. She's she's innocent, she's kind, um, she loves everything, but she doesn't know about the world because she lives in a kingdom that is shut off from everything. Um, and so when the magic starts to happen, she doesn't understand that not everyone is good. And so she goes into this expecting this, this magical happy adventure and gets very, very surprised when things get really dark really fast. Now the characters, they're not human, they're what? Um, demigods you call them? 
<laughs> That's correct. So, so they're actually demi-humans. Um, each person is is a combination of an animal and a human being. But there are actual humans in the game. I'm, I'm not going to tell you what their relationship is or, or what the difference is or, or why there is a difference. Um, but, but the relationship between demi-humans and humans plays a, a very, very big relationship um, uh, part of the story. Um, so, for example, Luna is uh, part coyote and part human. Um, and the queen for, for the, the city that she lives in, Arcturus, um, she is part cougar and part human. So there, there are a lot of different species and um, a lot of different backgrounds for each of them, and you will get to learn about them. Now, they will, you said they will have, um, have different areas, land, so forth. Now, will, how will she be traveling? Will this be by walking, flying, portals, boats, what? So, to, to get to most areas, you'll be walking, but there are some mechanics in place that are still a secret, but um, different, I'll say. Um, Luna does get some really interesting abilities once she becomes a paladin and gets her, her portal stone. Um, and she uses those special paladin abilities to get to new places that she otherwise would not be able to get to. What about traps and puzzles? So there will be some some puzzles um, that, that you will experience in the game and actually some of them will be inside of boss fights. Um, and I got a lot of the inspiration for that from, uh, from the video game Destiny, if, if you're familiar with it. Um, I really enjoy challenging players to do more than just attack the the boss there should be more and um so expect to see puzzles inside of boss fights as well as outside okay so now when will this be available so portal tamers is doesn't have an official release date yet. Um, I'm actually doing a Kickstarter campaign next April um, that will kind of decide when the game is released. If, if that campa campaign is successful, then I'm slated for release next December. If not, um, it's kind of to be determined. And will this be for um, consoles also? Uh, Mac, whatever? So it will definitely be available for uh, Windows and Mac users um, through Steam um, and potentially the Epic Game Store. I am also really, really hoping to get it put onto Switch. And I think that's it for now. Well, if that's the case, you got Nintendo upstairs right now and everything. <laughs> you might want to go talk to them and bring them on down and say, Hey, look, I got this game down here. I think it'd be perfect for Switch. We're trying to make it happen. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, Crystal. And I'm Roderick here from Toy Masters Video Magazine here at the 2019 Game Developers of Color Expo, fourth year, at the Schomburg Center in Harlem, New York City. With that, take it easy, everybody. We'll see if there will be any more videos after this. No doubt, probably will be. But other than that, take it easy, everybody. Catch you later.